Hey guys, we're doing another Warcraft 3 tutorial, or Warcraft 3 editor tutorial, rather. Uh, today we'll actually be going to show you multiple things, actually. First, I'm going to teach you how to make a unit move in a cinematic, like he can walk over to somewhere while the camera is still rolling. Uh, I'm going to show you how to put on a basic fog in your area. I'm going to show you more about what I mean by that. And I'm also going to show you how to use different sound files. Now. As you see on my screen, I already have something prepared here. This is something I'm just working on when I'm bored, or whenever I feel like it. Uh, it's uh, And I also have some cameras set up already. If you don't know how to set up a camera, you just basically create uh, just create camera, and you create a camera. And um, if I press delete, and if I hold shift down and my left side of the mouse, no wait, control and the right side of my mouse, I can actually move around. And if I want a camera here, that I can do that, but uh, camera tutorial will be for another time. So we have my, I have my cameras up uh, in my triggers. Obviously, intro. I do have my different uh, dialogues and all that set up. So to actually make a unit walk somewhere or just to somewhere, you need to create first of all a region. If you press R on your keyboard, you should get up to this menu. Don't mind all this. Just don't mind it at all. Uh, and if I create a region right here, let's say I want Illidan to move there in my cinematic, then I've created my region for that. I don't want Arthur to start moving now, okay? Actually, I'm gonna switch that to... oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna drag that to over near where Arthur stands. And we're gonna take a look more at that. So, I'm in the trigger editor now, I'm just gonna open the full window now. And I'm of, and where I want this, when I want him to start moving, is at the end of my clip here. So I'm going to go to, to action. Of course you should have um, in my in my last tutorial where we did basic uh, compa companions, um, cutscenes or cinematics. You know already how to do the camera and fade in, uh, the fade out, the cinematic mode and all that. At the end I want to first do this. I go to unit. Now I get up a lot of options here, and I go all the way down until I see something called issue order, targeting point or a destructible or a unit. So I'm going to be taking issue order uh, target targeting a point. So I'm getting up this now. I'm just going to see if I can make it a little bit bigger. No, I can't. And order unit to move to center of playable area. So I'm going to click on unit. I'm going to find Illidan. I can also do select unit and click on Illidan if I want to. Then I have a few options if I want to change this. I can take Patrol, uh, move to, right click, set uh, rally, rally point, unload all. This is for a lot of other things. Human Archmage, use Blizzard. I have never tried all of these options, but if I go a little bit up as well, I can take attack, move to, attack round. In my case, I'm going to have attack, move to, which means while he's moving towards that location I'm going to give him, he will attack any hostile heroes or units in his way on that. Uh, to that region I'm going to select center of playable region uh, region center of playable map area and then I can select the region and I'm going to select my newly created region of course um, if you go here we can also put some put a lot of other, a lot of things as well we can make him even move to unit we can actually just make him go right to office but if you do the regions you get a little bit, little bit more precise where you want him to go so and then we just press OK and w after all of this has happened, he w at the end of my little thing now, he will start move attack moving towards Arthas. Means meaning he will start attacking Arthas as soon as he comes in range uh, to attack him. Now, I'm also going to show you how to do a uh, fog. No, I'm not most the most experienced on this, but it's a little cool effect. So I'm having this on the beginning of my map, and how I basically do this is I do a new action and I go down to environment, I just need to remember that number, uh, environment, that was floating text, and I go down to set fog, now I get all this set fog, fog uh, to style, linear, set start, and a lot of numbers, and set end, and basically what I did, I took the set end, and learned this, if you take numbers, the numbers up, if I take it to 10,000, you get less fog, but if you take it lower down, like to 3500 like I had it on, you get more fog. And it's a cool effect that can, you know, change your cinematic, which I'm going to show you just in a second. 
so that's basically how to create a fog. Now, in my little thing now, I have some sound files. I'm gonna go to this right here. Cinematic, send transmission, Arthur's, King Arthur's. Uh, and this, this is what it says, the Frozen Throne is mine, demon. Step aside. Okay, and I've set it to uh, 4.50 uh, seconds and wait. And while that is going on, before I even, uh, before my dialogue here, right over I have sound play, uh, uh, this file name here, Arthur36. And we're actually gonna go to sound editor, F5. Let it load. Okay. Uh, am I able to move, move this? I just don't, don't want to move uh, the bandicam. There you go. So, when you first arrive in here, we're going to see a lot of things here. Lich King's theme, main screen, Naga theme. This is all the different soundtracks that plays when you play Warcraft 3 or when other people use, use it. If you go longer up, or if you are, or are already up, uh, I just spawn down here. Uh, then you have a lot more. You have spells, weapons, demons. Okay, I'm just going to click right here and test this out. Yes, it, I don't know if you could hear it. I don't know if my Bandicam records sound, but uh, you could hear the fire, rain of fire loop sound. Okay, uh, if I go away from abilities, so basically you have a lot of sound files. That is all the sound files that is used in Warcraft Three. In my case, I went to dialogue under extra campaign, which means the extra campaign from the Frozen Throne, and then I select the last mission, and then I found the sound file for when Arthur says that the Frozen Throne is mine, demon. Step aside. Like that. And then I actually did this. Right clicked on it. You should get this uh, little menu here. Use as sound and music. Now, if you want, like I did, just to have him say this while I have the cinematic say, uh, text saying it, you take it as sound. It would be rather stupid if you took it as music because then it will, if you took it as a music file, it would play in the background uh, in a loop over and over and over until you stop it uh, by another command or something. So use the sound, and I already have. Oh, oh shit. Um, we went out of it. I already have it right here, so I don't need to do that. And then we go back to uh, the trigger menu, new action, and I'm just gonna go to this one. And you should find something. Oh, wait, I'm just gonna do it more easy for me now. You should go all the way down to sound, and then it should be on play sound, and then you should have the option of selecting the sound file you have added from the sound editor. And then you just, like that. I'm not going to add it though, because I already have it. But, uh, let's say I want some music to play instead. If you have imported any music, or yeah, or just uh, want to use some Warcraft music over some other, just go down to play music. Shit. Uh, play music, and then that music file will go over and over again until you stop it yourself with another command, or it will just loop over until you end the map, basically. And what you don't want to do with play music is you don't want like the sound file I have to ask this here. He will keep saying, the frozen tone is my demon, step aside, until you either stop it with a command, like another trigger, or if, it, uh, if you end the map. So he will keep saying, the frozen tone is my demon, step aside. Now, I'm going to show you the results uh, results or the thing we have in Warcraft now. I just want to switch the fraps because uh, recording with Bandicam in uh, Warcraft 3 is not the best. So, we're going to take a look at the, the end we have now. Right now, we're on the loading screen and we're about to see what's going to happen. So, you see the fog. You see it's a little bit more white all over the screen. Not because of the fog on the ground, because but because of the fog we created around the map. And we're about to hear our sound file play just in a second. The frozen throne is mine, demon. Step aside. I have sworn to destroy it, Arthas. It must be done. Never. There I have my sound files playing over the uh, cinematic. And we're about to see Illidan run towards us. Yes! Speak for So we see him run to us and start attacking to us. Of course, he would have attacked me even if I didn't take on attack move to. Because we're enemies on this map, apparently, now. Uh... But there you have it, that's how you actually move a unit. You can, you don't need to do this outside the uh, cinematic mode, you can of course do it inside, but I just showed this example. And uh, I hope you actually learned something from this uh, tutorial. So thank you for watching, and until next time, bye bye.